All right, man, it's been a while since we've jumped into a scary video. Just been so caught up with college basketball, NFL, college football, man. Just a whole lot of stuff going on here at the moment, man, in terms of sports. So, um, yeah, we're going to be diving back into some scary videos here. We got top 10 ghost videos so scary I had to have emergency surgery. <laughs> what a freaking title, but you know the drill. Lights off. Lights off for you too, man. I better not, there better not be no lights on, not even a nightlight. Not even a freaking nightlight, man. I want it pitch freaking dark. It'd be pitch dark in here if it wasn't for this light. I'll give y'all, I'll show y'all what it'd look like, man. Like, it, you, I don't know if you can even see. Maybe a little bit, like, right here with my laptop screen, but, um, yeah. Let's go, man. River's Edge. Loud. Cambodian Paranormal Investigation Team RC Fun TV2 travels to an allegedly haunted area along the bank of a river. What the fudge? The tell allegedly haunted area along the bank of a river. Okay, I know I heard something to my left. That scared the shit out of me. Stories of many horrible incidents that have taken place in this I think something area, fell or right something. I don't know. The river's edge. It's not gonna First, look over there. It is said that a young boy was swept away in a mudslide in this area, and sadly, he <laughs> hold on, bro. Now I'm paranoid. That was the worst. Like at the very beginning of the freaking video, I hear a freaking noise over there. I really don't know what that was, but the worst timing. Perished in the flood. Another tale recounts that a man took his own life at the river's edge. And then, even more tragedy, because the graves of several children can be found here, buried along the river bank. Because this spot okay. has such a horrible history, the RC Fun TV team decides to leave offerings and prayers for any distressed spirits that might be unable to move on to the other side. And not long after leaving their offerings, the paranormal investigators spot something truly terrifying. God, I got chills. Oh! What? Bro, what is that? No, no, no. Hold on. Bro, I'm still creeped out about that freaking noise I heard. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this shit, bro. Hell no, nah. that thing's got it like an. What's on the side of its fit? What is this? Oh my god, I'm gonna. Investigators spot what appears to be a man sitting on the edge of the river, but something is very off about the oh, he looks figure. The man is extremely pale and his face is, is unrecognizable. Like, what is that? When the team attempts to get closer, the stranger disappears underwater, never to be seen again. The RC Fun TV team say that they might have just seen the spirit of the man that took his own life on the riverbank, or perhaps even the boy that drowned in the flood. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I don't Straight care. Away. It was still creepy either it's way. It's late in the afternoon when a CCTV camera in the city of Angle, Chile, captures a teenage girl presumably walking home from school. What happens next is absolutely Oh my chill. god, I got chills everywhere. What is this music, nukes? Oh shit, he's got a gun! Hey, watch the dog, bro! I'll beat your ass! Yeah, get his ass, dog! There you go! Good shit! That other dog over there was like, hell no, nah, I don't want no smoke. Wait, what? 
The girl is walking down a secluded alleyway when a silver Nissan pulls up to the teenager and a man can be seen talking to the girl with a weapon in his you hand. You creepy little the shit. The girl is terrified and instinctively walks backward away from the- Bro, look at his dog all the way back here, man. He comes around the corner and he sprints down when he sees the issue. Car. When the men then back up their car to follow her, suddenly a little stray dog comes running <laughs> out of nowhere and aggressively starts barking Let's at go. the dangerous strangers. Let's the go, dog man. Effectively saves the teenage girl from what we can only assume would have been a horrible fate. Let's go, The video bro. about the heroic little dog went viral on the internet, with many people giving praise to the stray for recognizing yes, the threat sir. and protecting a complete stranger. Gotta from love harm. dogs. Now, without a source, I unfortunately don't know what happened to the little dog after it ran out of frame. But as for He's a footage, hero. It just goes to show again that human beings are always scarier than any ghost or spirit. Yep, and exactly, nukes. Exactly, nukes. That's what I've been saying. Not a helping hand. That's what I've been saying, bro. Like, it, that's what I always say about when I go to a forest. Like, if I were to... Not when. If. I'm never going to a forest. If I were to ever go to a forest and, like, camp out, I would not be afraid of no ghosts or no, like, nothing like that. If I go into a place that I know is haunted, man, like, it, like an abandoned place, like an urban explorer, man, I would be way more terrified of seeing a person in there than I would be of hearing a ghost. Like, I, people are so much scarier, bro. The scariest things on this planet are humans. Hernandez from Richmond, California. Marla says that she was rearranging some furniture in her son's bedroom and recorded a video of the room's final look to show to her daughter. But when she watches her video back, she spots something downright chilling. Marla says she was completely alone in the room when what appears to be a little hand can be seen moving by oh. her son's cabinets. Oh. Even creepier, viewers pointed out that a man's voice seems to quietly whisper, Don't be afraid to die. Oh, you morbid little now, shit. Marla posted the video to Facebook in hopes of getting any thoughts or ideas on what she might have captured. She says that other than one strange incident with a fan switch turning itself off and on in her son's room, she's never really experienced anything paranormal in the house. That you know of. So what do you think this is? Uh... Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Encounter of the Third Kind. The following is a very old video from the depths of the internet source unknown so a group of friends are hanging out drinking and having a good time in the woods of Flacy, france in the Suddenly, woods they spot what they believe to be a dog hiding behind a tree I don't see a dog. I can't see shit. What? That is not no fudging dog. Get the fudge out of there. What the hell are you talking about? What do you mean you're gonna film this, man? Get your ass out of here! Something otherworldly can be seen moving around behind the tree. Something with long fingers and an unusually large skeletal head. The video abruptly cuts and what happens next remains a mystery. So could it be that the group had an encounter with an alien? Or just what is that? Let me know what you oh, think. Oh my god. Haunting the unknown. Okay, I said the humans are the scariest thing on the planet, and that is true. However, <laughs> right below them would be aliens. <laughs> so. Paranormal 
investigator Alex from the YouTube Budge. channel Hunting the Unknown sets out to investigate a restaurant in England that's been abandoned for over 20 years. The owners of the restaurant are said to have abruptly fled the property after being tormented by severe paranormal activity. The abandoned and broken down structure is located deep in the middle of the woods and Alex is all alone as he begins his investigation in the Oh my god, I feel so uncomfortable, man. I feel so uncomfortable. Box in the bar section of the restaurant, Alex already begins to experience strange activity. Like, dude, I feel like something's just about to grab my chair and pull me backwards right now, bro. That's what I'm thinking. Like, that's, I can't get my mind out. I can't even focus on the video, bro. I'm just, I'm just freaking paranoid. I am paranoid. I feel like something's gonna grab this chair or, like, freaking pull my hair, something. Pull my hair not like that. Calm down. Stay with me. I've got a music box set up at the moment. The what? Oh, the music, but right, gotcha. Fudge you. A static camera captures the moment a door slams by itself. But things are about to get even weirder. Alex decides to do a spirit box session in the hopes of catching some paranormal activity. Where are you? Can you give me a sign, please? Oh, what the f***? What the f***? Alex asks for a sign. And bottles sitting on the bar seem to be pushed over on their own. But it's when he takes a closer look at the bottles that he captures something truly disturbing. They've been sitting there for how long? Hello? Uh-uh. 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 No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't even see it. No, 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 no. Wait, did you see it? It's gone. You gotta be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, you did. Who's that? Bro, do you think they're gonna answer you? Bro, that freaking the dark spirit box the thing, that that noise just always it, it terrifies me, that noise with the spirit box, whatever you call those. Can be seen standing in a room right across from Alex. Now Alex doesn't notice the figure at first, but when he moves towards the door, he realizes that something is not quite right. He inspects the room to make sure no one is there. But he gets the unsettling feeling that he's being watched. Mm, me too. Alex no longer feels safe in the remote building and all by himself. So no shit. He decides to just get out of there. Thank you. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Hunting the Unknown. The oh, dude, I feel so uncomfortable. Japanese paranormal investigators Gachan, Daichan, and Yasuke are contacted by one of their viewers about a bizarre picture they took in an allegedly haunted cave in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. The picture shows what appears to be a woman peeking from a rock inside the caves. The location okay. is said to be a paranormal hotspot, and many visitors claim to have seen the mysterious apparition of a lady dressed all in white. It's always it's white, late at bro. Night when the clip store team carefully make their way deep underground into the cave system to search for the spot where the photo was taken. An Asian style toilet? What would that be? What? That's right there, yeah.
あだねだねあそうそうそうえちょっとうわ気持ち悪いてか無理人がだってガッちゃんそんな足とか出してんじゃんとにかくここですね The clip store team manages to find the exact location of the photo But now, with all three members so cramped in such a tiny cave tunnel, Yasuke and Daichan decide to head back out and wait in the car. Gachan stays behind to listen and look for anything strange. By himself? Gachan has been in the dark cave for about 20 minutes when this happens. Oh! <gasps> Kachan is a little freaked out when he suddenly hears what sounds like a woman crying from somewhere deep within the caves. My God. Meanwhile, waiting back in the car, Yasuke and Dai Chan also experience something terrifying. あれ、じゃあ初めてやったけど、どうだった中さんです。いや、結構ね、やっぱなんていうかな、やっぱ寒気、まあ、その洞窟っていうのもあるけど、やっぱそこがすごいよね。そうね、なんか雰囲気が違
fella think I'm her mom. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? Veronica and her co-workers hear the sound of someone humming or singing. Did you hear her? Yes. You hear her? She likes to sing. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? And a door opens by itself. Night shift worker Veronica explains that she believes that several ghosts haunt the Baylor Hospital, but she says that one of them, the ghost of a young girl, can often be heard laughing and singing throughout the hallways, as if trying to reach out to the staff. So is the hospital haunted by the spirit of a young girl? Yeah. Let me know yes. what you think. Probably. The Maybe not a girl, but it's, it, or it, it is a girl, but it's, was supposed to be it's something, bro. The truth for 44. It's haunted. The video shows a tourist in Paris stopping at the storefront of the famous and very controversial brand, Balenciaga. The woman notices something in the store window that is truly disturbing. Okay, people, tell me something. So this is a store. That's a Paris. freaking mannequin. I thought it was real at first this until it wasn't moving. In Paris. And this is a, a um, mannequin that they say that they made this <laughs> and put this in the store. But it looks so freaking real. Dead and bomb. Exactly. Oh shit, dude, you can see like the creases in his hands or whatever. It looks just a little the wrinkles. Too real. Oh my god. Things are about to get even weirder. Watch closely. I don't want to. I'm looking at his eyes. Now look at his eyes, bro. Bro, he moved! This mannequin. And put clothes on him and have him sit down in the window. Look at the guy friggin' face. He's in Paris. If you know anyone that missing a black son, look like this. He's in Paris in the store in the window. The mannequin suddenly appears to be looking directly at the woman. Viewers of the video are creeped out by the sun. She moved a little bit to the left. Hold on, let's look at his chin. So his chin right here is like like this so it's like okay i got it i don't know how to explain it but to be looking directly at the it might be turned a little bit but it looks about the same because she moved it to left also the sudden change in position and some even swear they could see the mannequin blinking the video oh shit i missed that as viewers begin to make wild claims that the multi-billion dollar fashion brand balenciaga has embalmed one of their models and the mannequin is <gasps> oh my model, god but is in fact a missing model by the name of Christopher Tyler what the fudge come even stronger after Christopher Tyler seems to drop offline he stops modeling and mysteriously his Instagram account is suddenly set to what private. dude hell nah he so disturbed by the ultra lifelike mannequin's resemblance to model Christopher Tyler that Chris had to actually post an Instagram live addressing that he was safe. Oh my and god, I'm about to say, bro. Very much alive. Like, I appreciate everybody concerned, but, you know, you can't feed into whatever you see on the internet. Nah, you a clone, bro. I'm not they just, they, what they do, make it just like him? Everything, everything in the book. They like. But all of this really doesn't explain why this creepy mannequin seems to stare at this tourist who gets too close. They must just make mannequins made after their freaking models, bro. Mike, that scared the shit out of me. A source. It is said that the video was taken by a patient in a hospital in Indonesia. I hate hospitals. He recorded the video to reassure his friends and family that he's safe and in good hands. But when he looks back at his own footage, 
he sees something so disturbing that he no longer feels safe at all. A dark figure veiled what? in black can be seen watching over another patient. Now, what? that on its own is not that scary. What? It's not? That's not scary, nukes? I'm sorry. That's... The video claims that there was no one there at the time. He says that there was no dark figure. Now, many viewers of the video have said that the eerie figure appears to be floating and that they believe the apparition might be the Grim Reaper, oh. patiently awaiting the patient's death. Oh my god. But I'll leave that up to you to decide. Thank you so much. I don't want to, dude. Oh my god, turn the lights on, bro. Holy shit. That was one of the hardest ones to get through, bro. I say that every time I do one of these videos, man. It's it's always one of the hardest ones to get through. This one especially because I did hear a noise over there somewhere. Don't know what it was. Um, and I just felt like I was gonna my chair was gonna get yanked back. I was gonna get pulled into the shadow realm. I was gonna be never seen again. This recording, you know, my camera's facing this way, so like y'all would never even seen what happened to me. So it would never there would never be any proof of it. You know, my it would it's all been. All been for nothing, pretty much. Me getting brought to the Shadow Realm just would not have been caught on camera, you know. There wouldn't have been no content made out of it. It would have just been absolutely worthless, man. My sacrifice would have been made worthless. And, um, yeah, it was quite scary, but I was, I was quite paranoid. But, hope you all enjoyed, man. If you did, please drop a like at the subscribe button. I'm gonna try to get more of these scary videos out more often, man. I really do enjoy doing them, even though I get freaking terrified. I'm going to try to get them out more often. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all in the next one, man. Take it easy.